Hello everyone, Jess here with Odyssey Human, here today to talk about the state you'll experience right before manifestation. <clears throat> Welcome to the channel. This is a place where we help you hack through the jungles of consciousness so that you can discover the treasures hidden inside of you. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. I am shooting on location today in Pennsylvania, <laughs> so a little bit of a scene, a set change. And I want to talk today about <clears throat> the missing ingredient, the missing ingredient, what we're going to feel right before our manifestation comes through. And we always feel it. This is the state we will always pass through on our way to having the manifestation come through us. What is that state? It's the state of completion. A lot of teachers call this, it is done. You know, they do the, it is done, it's done. That those words never resonated with me and I experience it differently. I would, I wouldn't describe this as saying it's done. Um, cause to me that has a little bit of a connotation of like, I had to give it up. Like it's done. It's over. I can't, I can't get it. So I like to describe it as a state of completion. So what does this state feel like? It's a sense of finality, right? And this state is, allows us to relax. It is a very comfortable state. It's a sense of relief. It is a sense of completion. It really feels like the circle has closed, right? And this process of our desiring something, trying to get it with techniques, and then closing it with this sense of finality of, I got it, it's done, it's finished. There's this circular, the sense of like returning back, closing the loop, completion, finality, it's done, I'm safe. And so it feels really good. And this coming full circle feels really nice. And I think sometimes where we get, you know, this is the state of the wish fulfilled, essentially, where we get hung up, where we can get hung up is in trying to tell the story of our external circumstances when we reach this point, right? We want to say, oh, when I have that job, I'm going to be going to work every day and, you know, interacting with my coworkers and, right, we're, t we're forcing a story that we're not seeing in 3D when instead I think the better thing to do, at least what I have found in my own success manifesting is to focus on what we would feel internally uh, were the circle to be closed, right? We're, when, when we've received the desire and we've got it and the circle is closed and it's final, it's finished, it's done, what are we going to be thinking to ourselves that is different than, that is independent of whatever the circumstances are, whatever that thing that we're trying to get or be or achieve? You know, to me, it's something like... Um, I did it. I did it. I did it. I finally did it. I figured this thing out. It's finished. I've, I don't have to worry about this anymore. You know, a sense of satisfaction of like, yeah, I did it. Like, that's awesome. It's pride, you know, feeling proud of yourself. Um, and so that like tapping into that, that sensation of, yeah, I did it. I, it's, you know, and that, the finality, you can really Finality has a very definitive body sensation. And really, because it feels safe. It feels totally safe. It's like it's done. It can't, nobody can undo it. It can't be messed up. It can't be, you know, like it's finished. It's locked in a time and a space that is now sacred and cannot be touched, right? Because it's finished. And so that, you know, state of fulfillment from that sensation, that internal, like the relief you're going to feel the, the like, ah, oh, the exhale, the it's done. Like I've, I've did it. I did it. I did it. Good for me. I'm so proud of myself. Like I did this. Wow. It actually happened. You know, those, those thoughts, those feelings, you can feel that as I'm saying it. <clears throat> Because it's the fear when we don't have something yet in the 3D, when we don't see it, that's where that craving to chase, the craving to strive, the craving to keep doing things, to keep trying, to keep doing techniques is triggered. 
right? From the fear of it's not here yet. I need to do something about that. <clears throat> and that's the part of us that we need to solve, right? We need to just relax that part of us. And in that feeling of, if you can touch this, the sensation of finality, um, and the beautiful thing about this state of being, right? So this is a state of being we will always pass through before our manifestation happens, whether we realize it or not. And the great thing about the state is we return to it. When we think about that thing, we return to finality, right? We don't reopen it up. We just like when I think about my graduation from high school, like it's, it's again, it's encapsulated in that time and space that cannot be touched, right? I have, I have allowed it to exist in that space. And so when I think about, oh yeah, I graduated from high school and I can, I return to a sensation of finality. And that is also, that makes it, that stabilizes it right? Because when we're trying to manage our thoughts and our emotions and our, with, our, with techniques and we're trying to stay in certain states, finality is a state that we really don't allow ourselves to go to unless in, we th see in the 3D that we're allowed to go there. Like when something is done, we're like, yes, that's finished. And we don't, and so if we can preemptively go there, and achieve just that relief and the sensation of completion, completion, finality, um, it will self-perpetuate. That state of being will self-perpetuate. If you really hit it, you jump into that version of you that feels that way, you'll continue to go back to that version of you, right? Because in our linear stories, right, the end is the end, is the end, is the end right? We don't typically, our stories aren't retroactive. And then suddenly the hero goes back to, you know, the middle and has to do something else. No, the, <clears throat> how our story frameworks, right? The narratives we're telling, it's self-perpetuating. The end is self-perpetuating and we'll keep going back to that sensation when we really hit it. Um, when I talk about jumping, if you haven't seen, uh, my shifting, uh, how to jump between realities video. Um, I'm going to link it above. That'll kind of give you an explanation of how to do that. Um, but we always, even when you think about, you know, I've always thought about the paradox of why is it that when we don't care about the outcome that it's suddenly we manifest so quickly, right? We have a thought of something. We don't, it's such a small thing to us. You know, we don't have a lot of attachment. Why is that? And it's, it has to do with the state of finality is that the finality is built into, you know, when the thought comes up and we don't care whether we get it or not, there's the final, there's that, that momentary passing through the finality, right? You're, you're resting in the finality because you don't care about the outcome. Every outcome is acceptable and there's a finality in that, right? Think about it as a train. If you're taking a train trip, you're going from point A to point B. <clears throat> point A, the beginning is wanting your the thing you desire, yearning for it, craving it, wanting it. The trip is, you know, doing your techniques, trying to get to the end. And so when you think about these little things, right, you start in point A and then you release it and you don't really care. The end point you know, the, the point B where you acknowledge, yes, I'm at the end of this journey. I have completed this. You collapse time and space because now every stop in between becomes your end stop. Right? It doesn't matter where you get off. If you don't really care if you reach point B, you know, that final destination, every stop becomes finality. Every stop becomes completion. And you can get off it. And interestingly enough... <laughs> That's when, because every stop is completion, you are in that state of completion on the entire journey. And you know how fast those things feel like they manifest. Like you think of them and then suddenly they're in your experience and you're like, whoa, like it's almost like crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how fast that happens. So, and the, the key, the key is that state of completion, 
right? It was just enough for you to just think about the thing, whether it actually appeared in your experience, in your 3D experience or not, didn't matter. It was the completion of it. The completion was inherent in the thought. And because of that, then it also appeared, it manifested, right? That's the paradox of, you know, it's the, that completion, the state of completion. So let me know what you thought. Reach for that state of completion, fully immerse yourself in it, become it, embody it, and then watch what you want come into your experience because you have really achieved that state. And that state is the gateway to your manifestation, to it coming into your 3D reality. So let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. I'd love to engage with you. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.